Welcome to DC Realistic tutorial. In this tutorial, we're going to go over how to download DC Realistic, how to install and update it. We're going to go over how to activate it and lastly, how to use it. The video is split into multiple sections. You can jump to the timeline of the video and choose the right section for you or watch the whole video. Let's start. To download the latest version of DC Realistic, go to our website at rkapps.shop, tap on download section, press the relevant product and then press download. Once downloaded the DC Realistic installer, run it, press next, agree or disagree. This is where you need to choose where to install DC Realistic. Now, if you're updating, just make sure that the path here is the path of your existing DC Realistic. But if you're just installing for the first time, choose the path that's most suitable for you. One note, avoid install DC Realistic in your program files directory. And the only reason is that if you will install it in your program files, the auto start feature will work, but you will get a admin rights dialog from Windows each time uh, DCS will run. To avoid it, install it outside of program files. That's it, press install. And then you can create a desktop shortcut or run directly DC Realistic. Press finish. Once you run DC Realistic for the first time, you will have two options. The top one is to enter your product key and activate. You put here your email, you paste your serial number and press activate. If you don't have a serial number and would like to try DC Realistic for seven days free, press here, enter your email and then press start trial. Once activated, you will see three tabs, about, settings and connection. In the about tab, you will find some information like the version, license type, button to get to our website, Facebook, forum, manual. And for the trial users, you will be able to activate it once you get your key. In the settings tab, you will find server port option. In case you want to change our default port at which the simulator is communicating with DC or realistic, then you can just type in the port you want and press save. Note, you will need to restart your DCS. Disabled effects. If there are effects from our list that you didn't like and you wish them to be always disabled regardless the aircraft you fly, then you open this list and choose the effects you want them to be disabled. Auto start. Once on, which by the way, it's by default on, um, DC Realistic will start automatically as soon as you start a flight in your simulator, as well as auto exit. Once the simulator will be exited, DC Realistic will be closed automatically. Auto minimize. Once on, DC Realistic will be auto minimized automatically once it's launched. And then lastly, we have the connection tab. As long as you are not in an active flight, this is what you will see. Um, and once you start an active flight, it will automatically change to this. You will see two new tabs, one effect and the other one is profile. Let's quickly go over the profile tab. On the top, you will see the active profile name, which should be the same as your aircraft that you're currently loaded with. Master switch. In case you want to turn off or on DC Realistic for that specific aircraft, you can toggle this off or on. If you would like to reset the profile to the defaults, you just press reset and then approve it. In DC Realistic, we have three different default profiles. One for warbirds, the other one for helicopters, and lastly, for fighter jets. It will always go to the proper default profile according to the aircraft you are loaded with. Master volume, here you can basically maybe hear it. You can uh, control the master volume of DC Realistic sound effects. As well, you can control DC Realistic uh, master camera shakes intensity. You can also link to other profiles. So for example, if you have a different fighter jet that you already set 
um, and adjusted the effects as you as you like and you want to use that um, profile for this aircraft you can link, link uh, that profile to this aircraft once linked uh, any change that you will make to this profile will affect the other aircraft too if you like just to copy from a different existing profile then you select the existing profile and press copy it will create additional profile uh, that is exactly the same as the one that you choose to copy from lastly we have the profiles cloud you can either share a profile by entering your name and some remarks if you have or go to profile cloud currently it's empty it's brand new product soon you will have more um, profiles shared uh, but you will have here a list of profiles that you can basically download and enjoy from then we have the effects tab in the effects tab this is where most of the action takes place on the left hand side you will have a list of about 22 effects that we plan to to grow even more um, and each effect has a name and a blue dot on its right the blue dot means that this effect is enabled so if i will disable this one you'll see the blue dot just disappeared um, and some dots are white that means that they are currently affecting your simulator they are either making sound or making vibrations on your simulator camera this way you will be able to understand which effects actually affect your simulator in every given time on the top you have a button to profiles cloud if you would like to check if someone else already created a profile and you can check it out or share yourself and uh, on the right hand side once you selected a, an effect um, you will have the options to tweak it to your liking and let's go top to bottom and explain on the top you will have a nice illustration of that effect um, below it you will see a reset button that will allow you to reset this specific effect to default uh, so if you played and you didn't like what you do and you want to go back you just press reset to default um, if you'd like to preview it and and hear it and see it in your simulator without flying then you can play and tweak it to your liking so once you fly it will already be uh, set to your liking you can toggle it off or on you can read some text about this specific effect it will explain you what it does and effects in general are built either by sound or camera or both in this case afterburner has both sound effect and camera effect um, under the sound category you will have multiple sounds to choose from the ones that you like the most for that specific aircraft for that specific effect um, you can also use those arrows to easily navigate between those and then you can control the volume of this sound effect for the camera movement you can control the intensity in some effects is more advanced I will get to that in a moment and some effects also have advanced settings in this case for the afterburner you have two settings fade in time and fade out time so if for example when you kick in your afterburner and it kicks in too fast and you feel the the shakiness too fast and you hear the sound rumble too fast and you want it to come in gradually you can control how much time it will take to it same for the fade out um, each effect has multiple um, settings that you can play with and get get it to the way you really like it um, and and just a general note on this realistic default profiles the different profiles by nature are very strong on camera shakiness and as well on sound volume and the reason is that we want you uh, as a first time user to experience this sound and experience this camera shakiness and jump in and tune it to your liking if it were if the default profiles were to be very low on sound and shakiness then you wouldn't understand what effects does what so we start high tweak it to your liking and play with it as you wish um, let's take for example the g-force effect the g-force effect has multiple camera options as you can see and not only one single intensity slider 
So for example, here you can control the intensity of the movement of the pilot body um, when there is a G-force um, up and down. You can control how up and how down it will go. So for example, if I put here maximum, um, I would say any change that will happen in the cockpit in G-force, in G vertical G-force, will affect the body of the pilot uh, in a very high manner. But if you would like it to affect it less, you can just drop it. Same for left and right and back and front. And the reaction, for example, is a setting that will allow you to control how reactive the body of the pilot will be when there is a change in, in some acceleration in the cockpit. So you should play with those and fine tune it to your liking. Uh, it might take one or twice, once or twice until you get it to your liking, but once it's set, um, it's already saved for you automatically as you change. So once you set things, uh, you, you have it saved, you can upload it, um, let others enjoy your, uh, your selection. Um, and that's it pretty much. This is the effects tab and this, is wraps, this basically wraps up our session here of overview and how to use this realistic. Uh, if, you have, if you have questions or feedback or suggestions or comments or anything else, feel free to jump into rkapps.shop and chat with us. We're always here to listen and help and hopefully um, you're gonna like this realistic. We can tell you that we already do. Um, if you have Bass Shaker, then uh, mixing DC Realistic with Sim Haptic, this is where the real fun begins. Uh, but th th this is basically only for the people who has Bass Shakers. And if you don't, you should consider get one because it's gonna translate your experience and make it much more immersive. Thank you everyone and enjoy DC Realistic.